Alright, we can see it's when his upper body turned left, he see a bottom is turning left, so it's vice versa. Actually, for the top upper body and the bottom actually is in a different direction. So how we can perform a turning around in space? So I ask students before, right? So let me choose two answers and have a try. And first, I invite Mr. Ye to try to swim to see whether you can turn around. All right. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, we can see it worked really hard, but it seems like a mm, big no. So maybe let's try that. You breathe out. I need to take a deep breath. Keep going. It doesn't work. Seems like not the right way out. Then let me propose my idea. Maybe I invite Mr. Ye to use your right hand and to make your hands. All right, circling. I'm going to try this out. Look at this. He's making the turn. It seems like very successful. No, it's working. All right, we help Mr. Ye to do that. The change actually related to the angular momentum. There are a lot of quite similar phenomena in your day-to-day -day life. So let me also invite Mr. Ye to try another movement. All right. See that? It's with his arm extended out. Actually, he the speed of rotation is slow when the arms touch entirely. He a, he spins faster. So I think that's also the same to the a figure figure skating players, right? So also can check that out in the coming up Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic Games.